Senator from Washington. Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, it has been several months now since Hamas carried out a truly heinous terrorist attack against Israel. The barbarity of October 7th should not be brushed aside and cannot ever be excused. We are talking about terrorists gunning down innocent civilians, including in their homes, committing horrible acts of torture and sexual violence, and taking hostages, among them women and elderly people and infants. As I have said repeatedly, Israel has a clear right to defend itself and its people against the very real and continued threat that Hamas poses to Israeli civilians. As I have also said many times, that has to be done in accordance with the laws of armed conflict and international humanitarian law. Madam President, I appreciate that this is a tough emotional topic. War always is. But at times like this, we cannot let passion kill compassion. We cannot let the horrors of the present end the hope for a brighter future. As Israel seeks to eliminate the threat posed by Hamas, it must make every effort to protect innocent civilians in Gaza who make up the vast, overwhelming majority of people in the Gaza Strip. But as we have watched this conflict escalate, it has become increasingly clear that is not what is happening. Just consider, hundreds of Palestinians were injured or killed today after Israeli troops fired on civilians, crowded near aid trucks, desperate for something to eat. While we are st still learning more about the details, you have to believe that this kind of bloodshed should be completely avoidable. I come to the floor today as a friend of Israel. I understand the very real threats Israel, home to a, about half of the world's Jews, faces outside its borders and in keeping its population safe. And I come to the floor as someone who feels very strongly that Israel absolutely must change course. The collective punishment in Gaza has got to stop, and Israel must do more to protect civilian life. We need a mutually agreed upon ceasefire to uh, and end the fighting as soon as possible. We need the return of all the hostages by Hamas, and we need a massive surge in humanitarian aid. Israel needs to understand the casualties they've inflicted on the people of Gaza, the devastation they have caused, cannot continue. It is not in line with American interests, nor does it make Israel safer. The prosecution of this war so far by Netanyahu's far-right government has been nothing short of an unquestionable strategic failure. Many of the families of hostages have been protesting Netanyahu themselves, demanding a mutually negotiated ceasefire to see their loved ones safely returned. 